friends, it's me, your favorite French YouTuber. Finally! I'm back. I lost my beret for the longest time, and I just found it in the very bottom of my sock drawer. So she's back, and today we're gonna be checking out some horrible tattoos. My friend tattooed Darth Vader on himself. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like something I would do. Like, oh, I'm on a Darth Vader tattoo so bad, but I can't wait. I'm gonna do it myself. May you get this? That ain't Darth Vader. That's Dur Vader. <laughs> Zimba, what you doing? Get away from me. Daddy don't want you. What you doing? Zimba, like, Daddy, you're supposed to love me. I'm your child. Like, get out of here. I don't know you. Get off my back. In this house, we have rules. One, God. Two, family. Three, money. What? Family. Couldn't even smell family. Money. What What about food? How are these rules? Maybe principles? You have to family before 9 p.m. every night. No money in the hallway, Billy. <sighs> I'm as confuzzled as you guys are. <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny. Probably because it's such a horror drawn picture of Benjamin Franklin and it say money talk money look like it didn't even develop any vocal cords to talk this money look like it mumbles grandpa got the most epic tattoo of a billy goat eating some grass aka his hair so one little billy asked grandpa why your hairline so whack all he gotta do is mm, look at it there is a billy goat on my scalp and he's been eating my hair for years soon it'll be all gone and then the kid is gonna be like oh, will that happen to me when i'm older will a billy goat just spawn on top of my scalp and just start eating my hair this isn't how minecraft works no, somebody did it. Somebody really tattooed. You know that S that you would draw by connecting six lines on all your notebooks, all your paper in school? He did it on his arm. Why? You know, man, that's all I did in high school. I had an unhealthy fascination with connecting all of these six lines and making an S. Not just any S. It's a fancy S. This is why you should never let a rookie tattoo artist tattoo a person's face. You got this woman over here, and then you got this crusty, ashy witch hag over here. Like, what is this? Can you tell this is the same person? I mean, you get what you pay for. <gasps> this was supposed to be a galaxy tattoo. Oh, no. They ruined this poor woman. I mean, do these tattoo artists not like look at a photo or a request and be like, you know what? I am not skilled enough to do this. I will pass. No, they're just like, okay, you know what? I'll see what I can do. I wanted a galaxy. She got this. This ain't a galaxy. This is a catastrophe. This guy loved glasses so much, but just hated wearing them. You know, I have sensitive ears and just can't wear them all the time. Gets them tattooed on. Yeah, if you squint your eyes and look at him, it does kind of look real, but they're not. Nothing says classy like a unicorn dragging his butt across your back. I mean, at least they got rainbow skid marks. If that was a regular horse, it wouldn't be a rainbow. It would just be like brown. <laughs> That's the wrong song. But also, what is this? Okay, I know this is so horribly drawn, but hear me out. It's kind of cute. Look at the spider. It's sending him little hearts like, Hi, Spider-Man, what's up? I'm your biggest fan. And Spider-Man just like go full on savage, like web out of each hand, full on sicko mode. It's funny, but I kind of like it. I don't trust anybody. That's why he tattooed his eyelids with eyeballs so that no matter what, whenever he's asleep, whenever he blinks, he always watching you. Can't trust nobody these days when you want a tattoo, but you want a budget. Love never dies. Oh, yikes. Bro, I've seen 10 year olds draw better than this. Who did this? You know, everyone is skull with a rose in his mouth. Tattoo artists be like, oh, good thing it's on his back. He'll never get to see it. Ha! Imagine actually doing this on somebody. Like, this is permanent. They're gonna live with this the rest of their life. Were they proud of their work? Or were they just troubling? Who needs eyebrows when you got cats? Man, don't give me that look. I ain't judging you or your cats. I got glasses too. You wanna play the glasses game? Okay, here we go. Mm. You know, she probably had enough of eyebrows. Why do people have eyebrows? Why don't they just have cats instead? Especially sleeping cats. Like the badly drawn kind too. Oh, I wonder if when her eyebrows grow back, the hairless cats will finally have hair. Okay, you know what? I think that's pretty creative, but like, you got two cats on your eyebrows. How's anyone gonna take you seriously? 
Okay, this one's a little creepy. Does it look cool? Kind of. I remember when I was in high school, this was like a super popular thing where people would tattoo this on their back and make it look like a corset, but they did it on their foot and it looks, uh, I don't like it. It looks very real though, I will give them that. I don't like it how it goes down the toes and splits them. Separates the little piggies. So like, can I get a tattoo of my name? In cursive. Yasha, I got you. Your name. I thought it said your name. Like she just came in and was like, I want my name. Your name? Yeah, my name. Okay, your name, but misspells name. And I hate how the your is in regular text and then the name is in cursive. Why? Y'all went to school, learned cursive, and still didn't know the difference between an N and an M. Unacceptable. Once you go black, you never go back. I love Africa. Wait, is this someone off 90 Day Fiance? Visits Africa once, that woman trying to meet the dude who was scamming her through email. I don't know, is one of those ladies. They like 50, 60 years old, going to Africa to find like a 20 something year old dude. So when you put your arm up like this, you got a regular arm. This girl has hands holding up a camera. So every time she holds up her hands, it looks like she's holding up a camera. Hands, fingers, crusty fingernails and everything. Just looking back at you. I mean, it looks kind of cool, but it's also like, why? I mean, does she need a reason? Maybe she hates having her picture taken. So whenever somebody tries to take her picture, she just flips that Uno reverse card like right back at you. You trying to take my picture? No, we taking your picture. Maybe she's a vampire. Ew, I hate this. You sitting on a plane and the dude behind you got this on the back of his head. He got a whole other face. Teeth, two eyebrows, a mustache. Oh, no thanks. Oh, you disappoint your whole family with this tattoo. Like it's a foot. A foot is supposed to look like a foot. A foot is not supposed to look like a shoe unless you put a shoe on a foot. That's like me tattooing a beret on my scalp and being like, oh, but I always want to be a favorite French YouTuber without the trouble of wearing a beret. I mean, what if I lose it again? What if someone steals it? If I tattoo it on my head, I will always have it. It will be with me. Ooh, I was gonna be like, she really tattooed her man on her face. Her face! But it doesn't even look like her man's, it looked like some generic drawing. And he's looking at you, so any dude that's gonna sit on the bus next to her, any dude that just so happens to even think about talking to her, she got her man's right here, you gonna have to answer to him. Look at the eye contact he's making. I'ma just back off and walk away. He's too intimidating. I mean, what if somebody sees one side of her, and they try to talk to her, and then she do a full 180 and then they see the man living in the side of her face leopard print or little hamburgers you know what that's a good question y'all are people right y'all not leopards stop appropriating leopard culture this dude decided to tattoo family tradition on his mustache. Was it worth it? You traded your mustache for the family tradition. Well, y'all not allowed to have mustaches, but y'all allowed to have beards and star tears. You disgrace your family. I mean, maybe his family made a vow to eradicate all mustaches from the household. I don't know. I mean, nothing wrong with tattooing that on your back, your arm, your leg, your chest, but your mustache, you know, gotta let everybody know it's the family tradition. You know, nothing like a tattoo of my hometown right on my back. Gotta let everybody at the water park know that I'm from Mississippi. What? Mississippi. Miss is Ippy. He couldn't even spell it right. I mean, if you're gonna tattoo Mississippi on your back, I'm assuming you were born there, you grew up there, you went to school there, should have learned how to spell Mississippi there. I guess not. Enjoy your horrible tattoo. Who said tattoos had to be meaningful? Oh my god, this is tripping me out right now. I have to like squint at it to make my eyes stop hurting. She freaking tattooed eyes on her cheeks and they look so real. They look even realer than her real eyes. I know because her real eyes are supposed to be up here, but they look like their real eyes down there. Maybe she was just born with four eyes. There's this kind of four eyes and there's this kind of four eyes. Let's have a staring contest. Actually, no. She got double the chance to win. And one set of eyes never closes. No, it's like, always gotta watch out. Even though that point two seconds that I blink my eyes, let me tattoo some eyes right here that will always be open. They're always watching out for me. You can't trust nobody. This guy got a super cool tattoo when he was in another country. And when his friend translated it, it's a turkey sandwich. I mean, I love me a turkey sandwich. Would I get it tattooed on me? Probably not. Does it look cool? Kind of. I mean, you just got bamboozled. Thanks. 
Thanks, mother, for my life. <laughs> Thanks, mother, like this right now. Oh, son, I gave you your life, and this is what you choose to do with it. Be stupid. Or maybe he spelt it that way so I would read it in an accent. Thanks, mother, for my life. <laughs> Okay, this is pretty cool. He got a whole entire turtle, shell and everything. I wanna know what it looks like from the front though. You got the little tail like hanging off here, like a little widow's peak. He look like he trying to escape. I am a turtle, I belong in the water, not your scalp. Release me. This dude got a Marvel tattoo. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. One of these doesn't belong. Comment below. Okay, see, it looks epic and everything. But there's Batman in it. Batman is DC. Batman is not Marvel. What are you doing? I remember watching The Dark Knight and then Evan was like, this is the best DC movie you will ever watch. Batman is DC's greatest creation. And now here he is, chilling with Marvel. I don't know how I feel about this one. Is it a centipede? Oh, they got a hundred likes. Hold on, let me count them out. One, two, three, four, five. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm gonna just call it a centipede. You could correct me in the comments below. My dude couldn't grow a full beard. Was well, like, you know what? Screw it. Just put something on my face that looks like a beard, but is not a beard. Because I don't want it to be something that's trying to be something else, but I want it to be something cool. Something cooler than a beard. A centipede. What? Oh, and this guy who wished and wished and prayed and wished to have long, luxurious hair. I want everybody to see how cute my hair is. This just looks stupid. There's a lot of people in this world. A lot of people do some pretty dumb things. I mean, he could have wanted to have long, luxurious hair, but without all the maintenance. Just tattoo it on. You don't gotta brush it. You don't gotta braid it. You don't have to condition it. I mean, okay. Believe in yourself and never lose hope. Hoop? Like a hoop earring? Never lose your hoop earring. That's some advice to live by. There is so much wrong with this photo. And can we start with this dirty, crusty mattress? Y'all hear that? Never lose hoop, guys. They talking about basketball? Never lose the game of basketball? Oh! <laughs> I don't like this. Get it? I don't like this. <laughs> Ew. Doesn't help how textured his scalp is. They're not even like realistic eyes. It's literally like anime eyes. Got my wife with me at all times. She watching my back. Unlike my ex-wife Janice. That is not the Pikachu I know and love. What is that? An abomination is what it is. Take him back to the Poke Center. I want a new one. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below. Let me know which one of these was the worst. And if you guys enjoyed and don't have any stupid tags, Tattoos, make sure you hit that like button on the face and make sure you turn on notifications click click and subscribe to the wolf pack oh i love you guys so much thanks for watching bye guys